Okay, so it's been a little while since I made a video like this one. Today I will be sharing with you all some tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus that I have here. And of course, this is also applicable to the regular Samsung Galaxy Tab S7. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I'm just gonna fly over some of the few things that I personally use here. And one of the main points that I like to stress when it comes down to this type of video is simply that you just have to get familiar with your tablet here, right? And it's something as simple as just accessing the settings and, you know, getting familiar with the type of software or whatever your tablet is running, right? And it's, just, it's something as easy as just swiping down once or twice and just hitting that settings icon. And you can come down here and go to about tablet. And there you can look at the look at the software, the software information here. And you can see that it's running Android 11. And sitting on that Android 11, you have one UI. 3.1 so something very simple now a lot of the stuff that you will find you know on this in these settings here you can also find or many of them will have shortcut that will be located in this little shortcut menu and how do you access the shortcut menu very easy you just go down swipe twice and right there we're just going to fly over some of the stuff that I have here, obviously you can arrange, you could rearrange this as you see fit. This is just the order that I have. So you have a screen recorder here. If I hit that, it's just gonna start recording everything on the screen. That's it. It's pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna go too deep into that. You know, obviously the sound, the Bluetooth. We have Samsung Dex here, I can do that real quick. And we can enable, so when you hit that, it just enables Samsung Dex. You know, you can open multiple things here and be able to move all the windows, which is just another thing that I love about Galaxy Tab, well, about the Samsung platform. Only way to get out, well, one of the ways to get out of it is to simply exit Samsung Dex here. Now, another thing I wanna add here before I forget is that many people don't seem to be taking full advantage of the Galaxy Store, you know, the Samsung Galaxy Store. It offers a ton of apps that truly make you fully enjoy your tablet. The next one I wanna tackle here is Instagram. You may have seen that I have a setup that has, you know, Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. If you don't have the Good Lock app that I have, you probably cannot get this setup going, right? So if you were to open, let's say, Let's say if we want to go ahead and just open Instagram, right? So if you just open Instagram, yours, your tablet won't allow you to have it in landscape mode. It's always going to be in portrait mode, right? But as I mentioned earlier, if you go to the Galaxy Store and you look for, which I already have, good luck, L-O-C-K, not good luck, but good luck. And it's gonna look something like this. And I have it already here. On your good lock screen that looks something a little bit like this, make sure to download the multi-star because that's what we are going to be using in order to force landscape mode. So what you wanna do is when you have good lock open, you wanna go in there and start turning some of, this, some of these things on. Let's just keep it simple. Go in there and just turn everything on. Look at mine, for example, I, turn, I have this turn on and I have that. I have the enable multi-window to all apps, pop-up apps, multi-focus, immerse mode, all of that good stuff. I just turn everything on, just keep my life simple. It allows you to force apps to do, you know, to be put in positions that the developer did not intend to. So the example that I took here was Instagram, right? If you were to open it on y'all on your tablet and you don't have the good luck app you wouldn't be able to have it in landscape mode, but in mine, I do. So if you were to download that app and then enable all the stuff that I showed you, you'd be able to have it in landscape mode and even tag other apps to it, like I just did, you know, with the with these other two, right? So I have Twitter, I can have Twitter going here and, you know, tweet something and write something while at the same time seeing what's happening here on Instagram, even though I haven't been on there that much lately. So you have that option, right? Here's another tip. If you notice, you'll see that I have Instagram here the long way, right? So I can see the full picture. It's just better this way, right? But you can change that, right? You can swipe it just like I showed earlier. You can hit that and have it this way, but this is just weird, right? Or you can change that back to the way it was. And you can do the same here. You can drag this and swipe that to that or you can even 
drag this to here and have this be what you have the long way. Have Twitter this way and have Instagram this way. So that's just another way of moving around and playing with these apps here. And of course, once you have this set up, let's say you like to set up and you want to save it like I did with my, I just prefer to just save it here. You just hit that and that same icon there, the plus with the edge of the tablet, that means that it's going to save it to that, but it's already saved in my case here. Oh, and before I forget, if this is your first time visiting the channel, well, welcome, of course. I'm certainly hoping that you're enjoying the content so far. Now, if you are, please do me a favor and hit both the like and the subscribe button there. It's a huge boost to the channel. And at the same time, it also helps signal to the YouTube algorithm that people actually enjoy this type of video. Again, I truly appreciate that. Another quick way to get to settings. So if you are here and let's say you want to access I don't know, the S Pen setting. If you were here, this here normally would give you would uh, give you the S Pen Air actions. I have that on. But if you want to go to actually the main menu through the settings, if you want to go, you don't want to go through this way. All you have to do is just, whether it's this one or any of the other apps here, you just click and hold. And that's going to take you directly to that main menu, to the main menu or the main setting that you would have otherwise accessed by going, you know, by swapping down and going to the setting and then trying to navigate to where the S Pen is and all that good stuff, right? So that's just another tip here. Now, the Edge panel here is something that many of us use a lot, right? This one right here. Let's start off with just split screen, right? So let's say we were here and we want to add another app to it so that it's, you know, it's tagged to this. What we'll do here is you hold this down, you press and hold it down, you get this pop-up menu and you get this option to open in split screen view. That's the one that you want to hit. Once you hit that, it's going to have that same, that same page we had open. And let's say we want to add Samsung internet to it. Now you can see it's tagged there. You can use it, you can swap them. If you prefer to have one on one side, you know, you could do this back and forth. And most importantly, if you like the setup, what you can do is simply save it, right? You click it and if you hit that, it's saved right there. So when you hit it, it's going to give you two options. The one here that has a plus to it means that it's going to add it to the edge panel menu. And the other option is just going to swap like it just happened like right there. You can do that. You can play around with it. The next edge panel menu that I want to show you is the clipboard, right? So when you copy something, it would normally save that on the clipboard. Now with this clipboard, this is something just so cool. So if we were to go to, I don't know, on the website, let's see what I have open here. What do I have? Let's go to Google or something. Yeah, so if, if we go here, and I see something that I like, and you do know, this is also leading into another tip. Another tip here, you may know this already, is you can just copy the text, right? You can extract a text from a picture. So if we go there, what I wanna do is use the Smart Select tool. Maybe I went too fast, just in case I, I went too fast. So it's, you click right here for the air command, and it's gonna give you the different options, and you have the Smart Select tool. You click that. And all you have to do is simply, oops, is simply highlight anything. Well, let's just highlight like this part right here. We highlight that. And when you highlight it, it's going to ask you whether you want to pin to a screen or if you want to extract the text right here. It reads, Goodreads helps you track of books you want to read. So if we want to go ahead and extract that, it's going to ask us if we want to copy. That's right there. It extracted that text. If we hit copy, it says copy to the clipboard. And that clipboard is right there. So if we read here, you see that it was copied there. Another thing you can do with things that you have copied is let's say you want to put it in a note or if you want to send it in a text or something, right? So if you want to send it in a text, all you have to do is just bring that over. It's right here. If you want to send that in a text, all you got to do is just drag it into the text and it's right there. And then you could go ahead and send it. That is a really, really cool feature to have. The next thing here is we want to play with the edge panel menu. We want to go there here and we can make some changes, right? You can change what you keep in your menu, in this menu. Oops. 
let's go ahead and get back here all right so you can make changes you can just keep one or two or three of the main the different menus right here you can see i have three you and you always have to have at least one right so you can't just remove everything so you can have the whole thing as a matter of fact you can just have everything and just kind of just toggle through them right so here i would have this one i can toggle but it gets a little bit overwhelming when you keep going but it's up to you you know it's if you prefer to have it that way you know you can always do just that you can have your reminder your tools the weather all that good stuff you can have all of that popping up from the edge and just so you know this video is not going to contain all of the features available on the samsung galaxy type s7 so obviously there are a ton of features that i'm, I'm not going to highlight in this video and i'm pretty sure some people are going to say that uh, are going to bring that up in the comment section which is fine but i'm just kind of giving you a heads up like listen there may be some stuff that maybe you wanted me to highlight that i didn't you know talk about today but anyway you know you have something like the quick share app here that's going to work a little bit like the apple airdrop so when you have that open if you have other samsung galaxy devices you'll be able to share documents you know if you hold it it's going to take you to the main menu you know you can share documents with just contacts or with everyone and it has the name of the tablet there so they'll be able to see and send you and receive stuff smart view what this does is you could go ahead and just cast whatever you have on your screen here to the TV or you know to another device then I have a quick access for dark mode here if you hit that it's just gonna go in dark mode which is this is something that a lot of people like I personally I'm not a big fan I mean not that I'm not a big fan I just don't care for it but you know it's there if you need it I prefer to just have it there in case I ever need it you have a way to turn you know your tablet here into a second screen wirelessly which is really really cool now well, it looks like here yeah, i would have to update my software here before i can do it very simple tip right just if you want to jot down some quick notes all you have to do is on the s pen you press the button there double tap and that should open that should create a note here and from here you could just Jot down your note, and after you're done, all you have to do is just hit save. It automatically saves it, you know, into your notes. So, and it goes back to sleep. Well, that was it for my tips and tricks on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus here. And I'm certainly hoping that this was informative. If you do know anyone who would be interested in watching this video, make sure to share this video. Make sure to comment. Also, I would love to catch you in the comment section like I always do. Make sure to like and make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'm going to catch you in the comment section, as I just mentioned. I'm also going to catch you in the next video. And up until that next video, stay safe out there.